Hey designers, welcome back to my online store build series. If you've missed the first three in the series, then there'll be a link in a card and also in the description where you can go and check those out. Uh, I've built out my storefront, the category page, the product page, got all my prints um, and you know products and selling set up in my store with shipping zones, etc. There is a very vital thing missing though that we're gonna to tackle today and that is the shopping cart. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how the cart works in Webflow and we're gonna be designing it, getting it to look how I want. All right, let's get into it. We've already worked with the cart a bit already because you've seen this cart button on all of the pages that I've been designing and building out so far because obviously I want people to be able to access it from anywhere. I don't want anything stopping them from going ahead and buying my prints. You might notice if you've um, clicked on the link that I've been leaving in the description and tried out Webflow for yourself that when you enable e-commerce, the cart isn't one of the pages that gets created for you. And that is because instead of being a separate page, it's like an overlay that you can have on any page. To view it, I'm gonna click on my cart button and then in the settings, click open cart and there's a few different options that Webflow provides for how you can have this cart appearing it can be a modal hanging out in the middle here you can have it appear from either side or it can also be a thing that like drops down from the cart itself personally I'm kind of liking the idea of the modal I like that it's in the center of the screen and focused I think if my design had the cart like anchored to the side of the screen then I would probably go for this one because that seems like it'll be um, a nice user experience. But yeah, we're gonna work with the modal one. You can also edit um, how it appears, the easing, um, the time that it takes. And as you can see, it's pre-filled with several items. Obviously they won't be pre-filled when people are visiting my site, but this is just a preview so that you can um, see how it look with real content. And I really like how you can adjust the number of items in it. So you can get a feel for how your cart's gonna look if, you're, if your people are buying a lot or a little. I haven't done anything to this cart. This is just what it looks like out the box as part of the component. But just like you saw me do on the cart button, how I swapped out the shopping cart icon, you can add things to it. You can move things around uh, in the layers panel right here. The reason that this cart kind of really looks like it fits with my site a bit is because like I showed you in a previous video, I had set up a style guide page with all of my text styling in it. Uh, when I first created my website, see this H4 heading here, how that is in the capitals. If I go back to a store page, open that card again, this is an H4, which is why it's already styled to look like the H4s on my site because I set that up already. So it's just another recommendation for you, to, for you to create a style guide like that when you're first starting out with a site and workflow. It's gonna make everything a lot easier for you. Let's get into styling this. I think there's a few things I wanna to do to it just to make it look more like it matches with the rest of my site, starting with adding some more color. I can make this say whatever I want too. So I'm gonna like, I don't know, let's not be so serious. I feel like this remove link is way too big. Um, it almost looks like I'm encouraging people to remove it. So I'm gonna add like a little trash can icon and make this a lot smaller. So I'm dragging in a little trash can icon that I've made. Well, when I say made, I mean, I got it from Noun Project, uh, but I exported it and I've imported it into here, into Webflow, and then just changing the text size and color and editing the hover states as well, just to make sure that it has some sort of interaction when you hover over it so people know it is a link that you can use to remove an item. Adding shadow to my images because that's just a thing that I've been doing across the site. And then changing the size of this text as well because it is a component uh, that you can edit all the pieces of. I've dragged in a new heading element to make it, I think it was an H5, instead of what it had there to start with. Doing the same thing for the subtotal line as well. I wanted that to be an H6. And I think I'm just gonna add a bit more space between each of these card items. Let things breathe a bit, you know? Obviously we don't want our menu ever looking like that. So that's just a reminder that um, if you use Z index for various things in your design, make sure you increase the Z index on the card so that it sits on top. I think 
that's looking nice. It's looking like it matches my design. But one thing we can't forget to do is design um, the states for if there's nothing in your cart or I don't know if something goes wrong. So in the panel at the side here in the settings panel, I can click on empty to preview that and I can click on error to preview that. So um, let's just edit these things a bit. Just gave it some rounded corners to match with all the things I've done on my site and centered everything because I feel like that looks best with this checkout. And let's try to do something a bit more fun for if there's nothing in here. I want to create like an empty state. So I want it to look almost like the printer's missing. Maybe that'll encourage people to go add some. So to make my empty print, I'm basically just making a dashed line around rectangle of Figma, exporting that and importing it into Webflow, changing the size and the positioning using Flexbox and setting a max width to it so that it looks how I want. With that so if there's nothing in the cart at all it'll show this when they try and open it that is my shopping cart done now people are gonna know what they're buying coming up next in the next video we're gonna work on the checkout page which is another really important page and the order confirmation page so once people submit an order this will be what they see stay tuned for that we're getting really close to the end of the store design now which is exciting i can see the finish line and like i've said in all the previous videos if you haven't checked out webflow yet then there's a link on the screen right now also in the description go check it out it's free to create an account and just start playing around with all the stuff and seeing how it works maybe you can build your checkout page and order confirmation alongside me for the next video all right thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up if you did and i'll see you in the next video bye